Alors, <laughs> I gonna do the video about skincare because I did it some weeks ago and I did something wrong. In fact, I inverted the camera and everything I was showing was upside down and people could not understand what I was showing as product or things like that. So I cancelled it and I never took time to do it again. So it's, it is a game. So um, first, uh, the skin is very important like all the body, but the skin is the first organ of elimination organ of respiration so it's very important to have the skin clear of toxins for that sure it's the way we eat the place we live and also the way we think that are really important in the way our skin is looking and how it's glowing or not if we have a state of mind that is under fears and stress or you know not really in a positive way it's not possible to glow our skin is like doing like that when we are under stress it's like everything is shrinking when we are open and more positive and more letting go and sure there are techniques like yoga meditation and all these things going out walking simply walking doing some exercise and not straining exercise especially when you get old it's better to take also time of rest sleeping is very important so your skin gonna be in a way the reflection of how you live and it's gonna glow if in your daily life you are um, I would say in harmony with the requirement of your body, with satisfying the basic needs of your body. And like that, it's also uh, affecting the subtle levels and the way, spiritual way, because it goes in both ways. If we touch the body and we care of the body, the whole entity, the whole being is taken care of. If we work on our, with our spirit on that level, our body also has an effect. It's an, there is an effect on the body as well. It goes both ways. So what I do almost every day, and this also is something you have to found. I always say that, but what I tell you here is what I'm doing, but it's not what I'm doing every single day. I do when I think about it, but mostly every day, the first thing I do when I'm gonna have my shower, I brush my skin. You saw the video about brushing the skin. So I use this tool that you saw that I found on Amazon. It's a sizzle brush. You brush your skin in a special way. You go online and you check a brush technique for the body and you will have any information and you will see what is right for you and you will try because the only way is for you to try by yourself to feel what is right for you it's not to repeat to reproduce what i'm doing what i'm making for myself because i have another story you have another story and you have to find what is adapted to you so i use this brush and I use this band that is uh, also, it's, this one is not sizzle, but it's youth, so it's quite scratchy. So this, I do it on my dry skin before the shower. I do this almost every day or maybe like four or five times a week. It's not, sometimes I forget, it's not a big deal. I will do it the day after and even I will enjoy it much more when I forget one or two days. So this you have also to understand that this flexibility when you forget things, it's also because maybe you don't need it in the moment. So don't feel guilty or don't feel, oh no, I'm not done it. I'm gonna have, don't have the result I want. No, it's not that, don't worry. Uh, the only attention you give, you have results. So this is what I use. And under the shower, I use this one. Uh, I try to find others. I found them on Amazon, this one, it's from Japan. I don't found this on Amazon. I don't found the same one 
here. I don't know where to find it here because I looked for others. I bought others. They are not scratchy like this one. So this is very precious to me. It's followed me everywhere since some years. It's never, it's, it's not, you know, get used to. Um, I use this under the shower. I start my shower with hot water and I use this with soaps. So I'm going to show you artisanal soaps, soaps that are you know, and made with olive oil or different kind of uh, products that are natural products. It can be shea butter, it can be mango butter, cacao butter, any kind of soap with natural uh, product. This, now soap is quite fashion these days, this can really help your skin to be released. You see what they said to wash your hands to take off you know impurities it's the same for the body i never took take liquid soap or this kind of thing i take natural soap since ever and like this i don't even have plastic thing to throw away so it's also a political engagement that you do when you use this kind of thing um i have um, I, I spoke about that in my video for hair uh, one of my friend and uh, who does a very beautiful uh, organic line that it's called Audacité uh, created recently a soap, a shampoo that is a soap and it's really pleasant to use. So if you go online and check Audacité, you will find. I will, uh, I will put, I already put in my highlight a list of the oil and some product I use. At the request of some followers, I added some other product that I forgot because it's my routine. Uh, so I do this shower uh, hot water and I really uh, wash all my body uh, and after I rinse very well. This is very important, especially under the armpit or the sexual area, you have really to wash like at least 30 seconds every part. And after you rinse very well, no soap has to stay under your armpit, for example. And I end always, always since ever, my shower with cold water. This for me is really my basic. Uh, it goes in my story because I always had this memory since ever from when I was little, little girl and I was washing my body at the river because we had no running water. So I remember the water, how it was cold and, and I loved it. And I remember and I loved when you wash with uh, soap and this, um, this kind of soap. When you wash, you, you can feel it when you wash your hand 20, 30 seconds. You feel when you rinse how it's different. It's the same for the skin. Your skin feels so soft and the water is like sliding very well. Uh, about the water, I have, uh, you know, I'm renting, I'm not the owner, so I cannot have a complicated system to filter my water, but I put a um, filter, like charcoal filter on my shower head. And I think it helps. It's good for hair also, because with white hair, we can have, you know, yellowing because there is chlorine or this kind of thing. So this is the thing, oh yes, for the face, uh, because I don't use this or this for the face, I use this one. So this is a lofa, natural also, plant, you know, and I put, I, I wet it under water and I put some soap and I can, you know, just scrub. It's like a little scrub of the face. So uh, doing that, you don't need to scrub a lot. I used to do a scrub with uh, olive oil and fine sugar or fine salt, like maybe once a week, and I do this scrub for my face and my whole body. I also recently created a scrub with uh, green coffee beans that I uh, blend uh, in my uh, magic bullet. Um, and I blend that with olive oil and different kind of essential oil, and I use it as a scrub. It's quite pleasant as well. So when this is done, uh, when I'm still wet, I put on my face, for example, so there are things that I love a lot. For example, I put oils and I love, for example, prickly pear oil, that is really a nice oil. 
uh, one oil that is nice, I forgot to take it here, it's pomegranate. Pomegranate, it's an oil that is very, all these oils are organic, fresh press. Pomegranate, it's an oil very uh, protective for dehydration. For example, I love to have it when I take the plane because like that, my skin stay very moist. There is no, it's not dry. Um, prickly pear is good also for that. Uh, in the oil that I have here, one that I love, it's coffee green. Coffee green is one of my favorite. I love the scent. It's an oil that is less thick than prickly pear and less thick than pomegranate, but I really love it too. Uh, an oil that is nice, you can take olive oil for the kitchen, but I have also this one that is maybe more thin with the less strong, more fresh uh, scent. And I mix this, so I mix this oil. Um, for example, there is this one, it's not the original package, but this is Buriti tree. So it's an oil that is a little bit orange and uh, normally it's in a glass, but this I took it to travel. And um, it's very uh, protective and very good also uh, as um, when we go to the sun. So people ask me when I go to the sun, if I put sunscreen, I don't put sunscreen because when I put sunscreen, it's like my skin, um, I, I have the feeling I'm suffocating. Um, so I don't go also a lot to the sun. I'm sun town, but because I'm in Malibu and uh, when there is sunshine, like I take half an hour sun bath, middle of the day without protection. It's good for my bones and I really I take this time as a meditation time, feeling the ray of the sun coming in my body and pushing and exhaling this beautiful light in all my body. And I'm sure this energizes my cells. This is my way to, to see that. So um, for the sun, I use, I don't have it here, but I have this that is quite nice and you can use it. I totally forgot I had that because I put all my essential oil and all my carrier oil in the fridge when I don't use them because I don't use all of them together. Sometimes I think, oh, I'm going to do that or I'm going to mix that. And for maybe one week I use one and after I change, I'm not regular in that as well. I don't have a protocol that it's still the same because I feel like me, my skin don't want to eat every day the same thing or all the time the same thing. And I think it's, it's good because uh, it gives a kind of uh, like excitement for the skin to have something new. And what is important, in fact, for the skin is to have the blood flow. So sure, exercise is good, but massaging is good. And for that, so I finish with this. You can have this for under the, the sun. This is, um, let me, carrot seed butter. You found this online. This is botanical beauty, carrot seed butter. And if you go on their site, you will see a lot of product. And I try some of their essential oil and of their carrier oil. Um, this is really, it's, it's, a, it's nice butter. And it's very, the scent is really, really nice, really strong. It smells really like the wild uh, carrot seeds. It's really, really, I love that. So when I go the, for my half an hour under the sun, sometimes I put this. Sometimes I have oil of carrot seed oil with res, red raspberry and I mix them and I just put that, that's it. I don't put on my body unless if I go at the beach, I will have coconut oil or this kind of thing, or I can do before going at the beach, when I know I'm gonna go in the salt water, I can scrub my body, is what I do with sesame oil and sugar or salt. But sesame oil, it's really, really nice before going at the beach because the salt water is sliding and it gives a very nice color to the body. It's a little bit thick, so you have to have, you know, like cotton shirts or something like that to be able to wash it easily, but it's a very nice oil. So this is the thing. When you uh, apply your cream, you, 
for example, I'm going to show you me, I'm not tender with my skin. And some people say, oh, you have to do this very soft like that, especially here, you know. I realize that I have not a lot of wrinkles under, under my eyes and there. And I think it's because the way I do it. Maybe it works for me, maybe not for you. What I do, I'm going to take a little bit of um, this prickly pear. You don't need a lot, you need like three, four drops. And what I do, this my acupuncturist who told me, is Korean, so they, you know in Korea they are very advanced for skin thing. So he explained to me that what is nice when you have a product in your hand is to simulate, stimulate the product, like that. And it's making like, it's hot. So your skin after shower is damp, and you do that and you apply. And you apply in a way that is quite energetic. You know, it's not like, like that. It's really, it's what I do. You are not obliged to do the same thing. But I have the feeling that the way I do it stimulates the blood flow. And you know, I do like that. I insist there, I do my neck. And I always do also my chest and my shoulder. When every time I put something on my face, I do it all the way, not only the face. So like that. And what you can do, I do it rarely because I'm lazy and I, feel, I forget about it. You can use these tools, scrapers. I have a collection of them, but I always forget to use them. My first one was like more than 20 years ago. It's a stone I bought when I was in New Zealand. And I love so much that stone, I started to put it on my skin without knowing that was what was scrapping. I discovered it some years ago by my Korean acupuncturist as well, because his wife is also doing facials. So you can, with a spoon, with a glass, with anything you are not obliged to have that you can work always going high you start by here going down for the lymphatic under the neck like that the jawline and this goes down and after you go up all the way many times i do like 10 times for each area the eyebrow and i do like that for the the forehead, the nose. You can do around the mouth, your lips. Same, you have to go down there. First, you start by that on both sides. And after you go up, and there's the eyes. So when you have a tool like that, sometimes it's easier to go in the small corner, like that, and to go here maybe also. And you do that with this oil, with the oil. And I love to do it when I do it, it's rare, but I love to do it before going to bed. You see this size as a very nice angle to be able to go in this small area. Yeah, I love to do it before going to bed because I have the feeling my skin, when I rest and I'm totally relaxed, the blood can even flow better. And this, you see the shape that it has. And, and it really helps for that. I have the feeling I have less fat here because what happens when we age, the fat that is up there is sliding with the earth attraction and it goes there. And since I do the face yoga exercise, I did a video about that, about the neck and the jawline, I have the feeling I have less fat here because the muscles maybe keep the fat higher. So, and I have less also uh, mark here. It's, it's like, so the principle, the most important thing is to have the blood flow. You have also these little tools. It's like, this is also my Korean acupuncturist who told me because I was used to have cuppings in my back. So it's the same principle. These are cuppings and you do the same. You start by 
massaging down for the lymphatage and after you, the lymphage drainage and after you go up and you do everywhere and I have a tiny tiny one for the lips and you have that <laughs> so this is for the face and for my body it's the same when it's damp I have these oils that I mixed with some essential oil. One essential oil that I love a lot, it's from my island, Corsica, Helichrysum. So all this is in the list in the highlighter, Helichrysum. That is very potent because it's very good for blood flow. Uh, and the frankincense is really good as well. But I have a lot, a lot of different essential, uh, essential oil that I mix, uh, lavender, uh, I have geranium, uh, rose, any kind. I have a big box of these and I play with that and I do my mix. Recently, I, uh, yeah, there is a cream that I love also if you don't know how to do your product that I use when I travel because it's easier than sometimes carrying for two or three days all the bottles and things. It's this cream that it's called Egyptian Magic. It's made with natural ingredient mostly from bees like bee pollen, uh, real jelly, propolis and all these are antibacterial so it helps also to purify the skin. It's a cream that is good for everything. I used it only as hand cream before sleeping and after a month I realized that my spots were like diminishing but there is also something else I'm going to show you. Since I take it since three months, I really have the feeling even more that my spots are really going away. And I, I have less, much less than some time ago. So Egyptian magic, it's also a cream you can use as lubricant. It works very well and as it's antibacterial, it can have very nice property to balance the bacteria down there because when we age with menopause it can be an unbalance in bacteria that can give some smells that are not really pleasant so i have one of my followers who told me that she had by her gynecologist uh, special uh, treatment in one day it was done in one night but you can also use that and uh, you can use it as lubricant if you have some dryness, problem of dryness. This is the thing. Now for my body, I also did that. I tried to replicate. I went online because I'm curious. So for that, I tell you go online and try to do the things by yourself. So I went online and I wanted to do Egyptian magic. I found many recipes and I tried one, but I put too much propolis. So it was too strong and not pleasant at all. But I didn't want to throw all these nice ingredients away. So what I did, I put it in a double boiler to don't burn it. Maybe the propolis lost its properties because normally you cannot uh, eat them. But it was in a double boiler, very soft, to melt again all these kind of, uh, you know, body butter, it's a body butter, and I added mango butter that I had and olive oil, this olive oil, and I made it, and I added also uh, some essential oils from Corsica, I added the helichrysum, I added the cyst, the myrtle, and I added some extract that I have of fig and chestnuts, and I can tell you this is evenly. I really love it. I'm gonna try to make it again because I don't know proportion. I just do like that. So don't ask me for proportion and recipe. I don't have it. I don't know at all. But go online and see the do it yourself about uh, my Egyptian magic. You're gonna have the ingredient. And after you try, there is also bee wax in that. Uh, and I forgot there are also there are only five or six ingredients so it's not a lot but me I added the mango butter and the olive olive oil is also part of the recipe but go online check and try and do your own I'm very happy with the result I have now and the texture is really nice it's like uh, 
very um, it's similar to the Egyptian magic but with a scent that I like because it remembers me my island you know so and this is you know it's it's quite nice when you do this natural thing in fact we should put on our body on our, what we can eat and here is a part essential oil and even some essential oil you can take them internally but this air all the egrandian that are there actually you could eat them the poly, uh, propolis bee pollen rare jelly olive oil it's things you can you can eat even bee wax in some desert there is bee wax so and mango butter you can eat it you know so this is uh, the way I, I do for my body and uh, what I do also I do some mask like for example now it start to be mango season so I have a mango every morning uh, and uh, after my hot water and uh, tea um, hot water with lemon or grapefruit because I have these beautiful grapefruits so I take this first thing in the morning and after a while I have a mango and I take the skin of the mango and I put it on my skin the time it's dry and after I rinse but uh, I started uh, some days ago to do a, a kind of detox with a green clay that I was used to do in France since many many years and I just got the clay some days ago from France uh, it's this one so it's a very thin clay that is being micronized, worked in the sun. And this is Argilets. Argilets, it's a brand in France. It's a very good clay and very cleansing. So the cure consists in, it's good for skin, but it's good for all internally because clay is green clay, not the white, not the red. The green clay has the property to absorb impurities, toxins. Uh, things that are like, you know, waste, something in the body that the body don't need. So this is the power of the green clay. The diet consists of taking one spoon, teaspoon, evening you put one teaspoon in a big glass of filtered or mineral, mineral water, filtered water, and uh, a spoon that is not in metal, you have to take a spoon or in ceramic or in wood or in plastic but no metal and you pour your water and you let fall the clay the spoon of green clay and you cover and this clay gonna go in the water and the morning you drink so now it's the first thing i drink in the morning instead of my hot water that i drink later first thing in the morning you drink the water after a week, you can mix a little and drink the whole thing, the, the cloud. And if you feel it, you can drink the whole thing. It's a, a detox cure that is on three weeks, to do on three weeks. Uh, you can have some really strange effect. The first, the first time I did it, I remember it was in the 80s. It has been like really weird in my body, like, like if I was in wet sand or like sliding inside the feeling I had. It was really strong. And uh, I started to have, I was also in a time, it was a time I was learning, going, doing a lot of workshops. I was vegan at that time, doing a lot of workshops about energetic and uh, understanding better the body and its functionment so about psych psychology as well emotional things i was in another time of my life uh, after divorce and all that and all was like inside myself it was all the memory was shivered was moving and it was a lot of things a lot of insight coming at my mind and um, connecting the dots you know, what happening in my life and the situation and the repetition so when you do that it's not anodine you have to be prepared to eventually have effect you can also some people can also have a transit intestinal transit that is a little bit disturbed maybe a little bit of constipation so what you do the evening you take a tisan of herbs or you take some more magnesium to help um, 
one uh, you finish the cure uh, what is amazing it's the skin how the appearance of the skin the skin looks pulp hydrated very glowy and a little bit greenish because it's green so your body and and uh, what is also interesting when you take when i take that like in some days and you go to pee for half day my pee is almost white because i guess it's making an alchemy with that and it's quite very interesting and also because i have after my hot water with grapefruit and after i have my tea so or my coffee so maybe it's not a lot of things very heavy one thing also that you can do because people ask me if there are supplements i rarely take supplements but some uh, months ago there is this company who contacted me when i feel eventually to take a supplement i try to feel if i really need it and if i'm not sure i have a friend who became a friend now i work with him since 18 years that is a bioenergetician i send him a little message and i say please can you check if this product is adapted to my body if my body is okay with that so it's a little bit complicated to explain how it works but you can go online and check about acmos method a c m o s method and you can have an idea about how the energetic uh, way is working it's also the way are doing uh, similar to kinesiology energetic testing so when this company contacted me something inside seems right but i was not sure and i don't want to overload my body with supplement i don't take take supplement or very very rarely um, i take these days vitamin c uh, liposomal that i have that is quite great uh, and i take magnesium sometimes uh, because I have a tendency to constipation since early, early childhood. I worked on that at the emotional level, regressional, psychological, analyze everything. But I think it's much deeper and uh, to the point that I wonder if it's not in my constitution, uh, in my body. So I don't stress about that because I found solution. and. I asked my friend to test this product of this company who contacted me and he tested the product. So this product, it's also in my highlight. This product is Kera Health. This one is for women. And this product, in fact, I took it since almost three months. I noticed that my nails are stronger. I noticed that I cannot say my skin is nicer because my skin is always nice so it's difficult to see a difference at the skin level um, but what I saw is what I told you it's my brown spot it's like they are melting they are less and even I go to the Sun they should be much darker it's like they are fading and I really have the feeling it's that because it's good for skin but it's good also for hair uh, i don't have a lot of hair falling uh, this is also something i s explain in the hair care uh, what i forgot to say that hair usually we lose 50 hair by day it's normal so when they are long you have a feeling that it's a lot but it's it's normal to you to lose hair every day this I have some little one growing there, but I always had little baby hair. But I had the feeling they are a little bit stronger. So this is a product that I experiment. Maybe you should, if you want to take a supplement, you should consider or you should maybe to have it tested for you. So my body responded positive for this product first my friend tested the product and it was a good product because what he does first is testing the product and after he testing he was testing if my body needed it and he tested positive saying that it will give me a plus 
So I decided to do the cure and I must say that I don't have side effect. Uh, and I, I think about taking it because this is uh, also something I noticed when I l forget to take something is that I don't need it. My body don't want it. So I forget to take it. So it's a good barometer to know, for example, uh, even for food. Uh, I, I love black coffee, but after a while, my body, I, I don't want it. So I don't take it. And uh, for some days, and suddenly I have the desire and I'm craving a coffee, so I go and I take it. I, I love this natural way to balance my, my body. Uh, what, else, what else I can tell you about? Oh yeah, people ask me about the deodorant I use. When I am at home, usually I don't use deodorant, but this is the one I take, it costs nothing. It's organic as well. You found this, and I found them in France in supermarket, but maybe you found them, it's Ushuaia. And I love them. Absolutely no side effects, really pleasant to, to have. Voila, um, on the side of that, uh, there are also good products. If you don't know how to do this thing by yourself, you can also, investigate in small companies. I have friends who are making, for example, a very soap, baby soap. Uh, she's making soap artisanal with a lot of care and there's a lot of love. She's in Canada. She's on my IG, on Instagram. You can find her. There is, uh, you may know her, Melinstrom. Melinstrom does really nice product. I've been her model when she started almost 10 years ago. And, uh, she is really dedicated to her work now. She is worldwide famous. Very nice product if you want to have a treat. It's nice. I, you know, I have these products that are given to me as gift. I enjoy them, but it's not that I need them. I enjoy to have a small treat sometimes. There is also another brand that is doing really nice things. Uh, like I said, for the soap shampoo, it's Audacité really really nice product so you can check online and see what you can afford and what you like and these are companies that i know personally of people i know personally what they do it's not industrial in a way that it's huge thing like product of the of the commerce now uh, i forgot to take it here there is um, uh, body milk that I found by chance passing by the supermarket uh, area of uh, uh, skincare, but it's called Alive. And I took a small thing to try and it's really good. It's about coconut uh, and uh, Alive, like Alive, and it's organic and the ingredients are really nice. And sometimes I'm considering to have that where I don't want to have too much greasy thing on my skin if I wear silk or thing like that. I can use this milk from, you know, the supermarket that it's this brand that is called Alive. Voila, I think I still, uh, if you have question, let me know. But I think I saw everything. I told you everything I do. Um, I encourage you to do your things yourself, to see, to, to go online, look for oil, feel what is, seems right uh, to you, look for the properties of ingredient and see what feels right for you. Because this is going to be the best way to be in touch with your inner self and to really know what is good for you and what it works. And it's also showing you to your higher self and your unconscious and the universe, your engagement to take care to yourself by yourself. Voila. I wish you a good evening and a good day for the one in France. And um, next time.